Hey guys, XJ here. Today, I'm going to talk about some common problems between trading paints and your AI roster. So let's get started. If you use trading paints to download your AI roster paints, on occasion, you might notice that some paints do not download. We're going to resolve that problem today and also give you another tip on how you can rename those files locally on your PC. So the first thing we're going to do is go to tradingpaints.com and I want you to create a new collection for this example. Um, you can name it anything you want. We're going to name this uh, YouTube. Uh, we'll go with super late. So how about that? Super late paint collection. Again, give it some description. It requires you to put something there. Permissions, again, unlisted or public. Either way you want to go, hit Create Collection. If you need a more detailed explanation on creating a collection, I do have a video uh, that explains that in a little slower and pace so that you can follow along. Uh, I'm, ha I'm going here with the expectation that you do know how to do that. So let's go back to the main Trading Paints site. Uh, we're going to narrow our selection to Super Lates because that's what we're collecting. And we'll choose this one. It does have a custom number by this icon that's here on the screen, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. You can use that or not. Completely up to you. You want to use custom numbers. We're going to select Add to Collection. Click that folder that we created. Um, and we've got a success. Good to go there. Let's grab one more for this example. Get this nice, beautiful John Deere paint. Add that to the collection. We'll get the confirmation. Awesome. Now let's go back to that collection. Mine. Scroll down to the bottom for me. We're going to open up this collection. And you'll see we have two paints. Uh, but that's it. Let's click edit. And now we're going to click <clears throat> convert to car set. And you'll see that now we have a driver associated with this paint. Um, one thing to, to keep in mind, guys, these permissions like to change um, when you edit inside of Trading Paint. So if you want to keep it private, make sure you change that back. I'm not sure why Trading Paints likes to do that. But if you're trying to keep something private only for your own uses, um, make sure you watch that. So we've got these collected. We've got a couple of paints. Um, we've got some drivers associated with it. None of this matters. OK, I'm going to show you why later. We're going to hit save, though. All right. And then in order to see this inside of the, your iRacing roster, we need to go right back down here to it, the file. Click on the main page again and click favorite. Now, when we do that, this is going to allow uh, iRacing to um, acknowledge this roster and see it inside of your opponent rosters. If you've got it open, you probably won't see it immediately okay so what you'll need to do is close out of your iRacing UI open it again give it a chance to refresh and then the AI roster that you just created should be there and as you can see here it is YouTube super late paint collection so let's click on that you again we've got two cars in here and two drivers you will open this up uh, as far as the driver and click on paint car you'll see that it has car number because it's a car number file that's why it's named that 477319 and we've also got one here this did not have a custom car number it's just the standard car underscore 477041 and that will communicate with trading paints to tell it what paint to put on this car problem is doesn't always occur so let's start up our racing to download these paints, hopefully, and show you how you can secure them locally to your PC. So let's start an AI race session so we can secure these paints. Let's click single race, and I've already got this set up. We're gonna go to Concord, weather doesn't matter, race session doesn't matter, uh, damage up to you. It's obviously a super late, so we need to choose super late for our car. And then we're gonna come over here to AI opponent roster. You'll see a drop down here. You'll need to click that and select the AI opponent roster that you created, right? And this is still the one we created 
inside of trading paints but we're going to correct that later just go with me um, depending on how many paints that you have in this collection you will need to adjust this it will give you an up to number Okay, so we've got two. That's as many as we can go in this one. Uh, you can place yourself on the grid wherever. Track conditions does not matter. Uh, let's start this up. Okay, so now we're inside of iRacing and our session has started up. And there are the two paints that uh, we had associated with the AI roster file on trading paints loaded into the sim. Now, quick note, if you ever run into problems where all of your paints that you have selected are not loading. I've noticed this with large rosters sometimes, maybe 30, 35, 40 cars in the field. There is a, way, a workaround in order to get those other paints uh, to secure them for your local folders, which is what we're gonna do next with these two paints. And the easiest uh, way I can tell you to do that is to the determine which cars are not loading which paints are not loading and create a second paint grab folder if you would inside of trading paints like what we've done here but only with those particular paints that are not loading so maybe it's five or ten cars and then go back through this process that I'm getting ready to show you here uh, that way they will more than likely download sometimes there's just problems with the files with trading paints and again that's one of the reasons that we're doing this is in order to avoid those types of headaches now what do i mean by grabbing the paints locally we're gonna go to our pc documents iRacing folder again okay and you're gonna look at the ai rosters folder okay double click that you'll scroll to the bottom and you'll see our trading paints roster that we created again the youtube super late paint collection and it has a number if it has a, a five digit or more number uh, associated there you know that hey that's one that's created inside of trading paints and it's associating with that file at trading paints but we want that to cease so we're going to create a new folder in here and we're going to call it paint downloads you see our two files there two target files and those are the cars that are on the track we're going to control c copy those and we're going to open that folder up and place those paints inside that new folder paint download folder this is just to secure those paints right now so depending on how many files you've got here just again uh, copy them and then paste them inside of this folder all right and the reason you do that is once we exit this session which we're going to do now you're gonna notice these paints will disappear. And there they go. But we have secured them here when we copied them and created this new folder. And the reason why we did that is because we wanna use this locally as far as uh, with, with our local created rosters. So we know that this one with the car number is a numbered paint. So let's name that number eight and call it uh, Bubba, That's Bubba's paint. And then the other one, um, we'll just call it John Doe. There we go. So they're renamed. You don't have to rename them, but this is an easy way for you to identify what paints and, and files belong to. So. Um, you know, if it's an STP paint, if it's a, you know, Wrangler paint, if it's a, you know, a modal, whatever it may be, you can rename it however you please. And now you can identify that paint. We've got this folder created here. Okay, so now we're going to create our local roster. So one that's not associated with trading paints. Let's click on create roster. And we'll call this YouTube super late example. We're going to add a car to it, and that car is going to be, obviously, the super late. There, we've added one. Now, you can do this for, click this little drop down here, tell it how many cars you want to create. Let's create another 29, so this is a 30-car roster. Add a blank driver. Add a driver with random values. Um, either way you want to go, that's up to you. We'll go with random values, and now we have our roster created that we're going to use locally. 
Okay, so we have created our roster inside of iRacing, and now we need to associate paints to each of these drivers that we downloaded. And what we're going to do is go back to that documents iRacing AI roster folder, and you'll see the both uh, folders here created the, the new file that we created locally and then the one that came from trading paints so let's click on that one uh, let's open up the downloads control a which captures all the paints control c which copies them let's go back go inside the new folder that you created and control v and let's put all of these paints that you have inside of here. Now, you can collect these any way you choose. You can collect them at one time. You can collect them over time. Just continue to place the paints um, and organize them however you want inside of this folder in order to use them. Keep in mind, it, you can run into problems if you create a folder and try to use it that way. So let's just keep all of the paints in their individual files inside of this folder. Don't touch this roster json file all right because that is your data that iRacing needs for the roster all you need that to do is just place the paints inside of this folder so let's go back over to the roster now all right um we've got uh, the number eight jennifer young here and we know we had a number eight car right which we named it eight bubba uh click paint car click add pattern it's going to bring you to this default paint folder for iRacing we're going to go back up one to iRacing, AI Rosters. Scroll down to the new folder that you created where we placed the paints. And there's that number eight Bubba. Of course, her name is, what was it? Jennifer Young. So let's just rename this, you know, number eight, because we know it was a custom number. All right. Number eight, Jennifer Young. And we know this one, uh, the John Doe, was actually hey, a John Deere <laughs> um, paint scheme. So let's go ahead and name that also so we've got it done. We're going to click on this, the number eight Jennifer Young, open. And now, bam, there it is. No worries with trading paints not loading or even having to have trading paints running. That paint will be on her car every time you use this iRacing roster from now on click save and it's done this is a very convenient way to change your paints to secure the paints to ensure that they always work if you're anything like me there's nothing more frustrating to, than to not have paints load up and this avoids that uh, so that you don't have to use trading paints anymore and allows you to be you know customize a little bit more if you want to get fancy hey open this paint up capture the the proper colors in this case you know the mains of the white red and the black then you can go to driver customization and place those on there another thing too if you decide that you want to have custom suits and custom helmets on each to match maybe the car that they're driving all you've got to do download those um download those suits or patterns or create them place them in that folder click add pattern and you would do the same thing uh and in this case um i don't have any suits but my own so if we click that here let's click team suit open and you'll see now that uh that has loaded so you can do those also locally uh, on your file um, the other one, like I said, just to give you the other example, the green, we got any green here? That's close enough. Um, of course, we can change it. Paint car, add pattern, go back up to the main iRacing folder, AI rosters, scroll down to that folder that you created where you place those, click John Deere and open. And now that John Deere paint is on that car and will always be there without the need for trading paints. This also answers a question, can you rename the files? Yes, you can locally. This will not work if you're still associating this roster with trading paints. And that's why I explained you should create a copy or create your own local file in order to do this. So I hope that helps you guys out there. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, consider hitting that like button. It really helps the channel. 
You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload any additional content. Follow me on Twitter to find out when I'm streaming. Thanks for watching.